That is, that is the connotation, you know, in the, that antiquated philosophy of 60-40, 60% stock, 40% bond, that, that's, that's shaky today. That, is is yeah. that a fair statement? Absolutely. We've had that opinion for the last decade. I mean, so we've dealt with that head Are on. Are there people still doing it? Yeah. Or, I mean, or some derivative of oh, that? All, I would tell you, that's why we call the boomer portfolio. Almost every client sits in front of me is 60% stock, 40% bonds, bond Boy. funds and stock funds. Boy. So it's a problem. Um, <clears throat> it's showing up to now because of what's happening with the stock and bond market together. Um, I was talking about the story about the pension fund that, you know, they're trying to increase their risk by owning more hedge funds and more private equity because bonds and stocks have been going down together. And mm -hmm. they're saying, what can we buy that goes up in value? So well, how we approach that as a firm, how we approach it for a decade, is we're going to use different asset classes like real estate, use it like guaranteed lifetime income products that will pro produce cash flow that we can get four or five or six percent distribution rates on that are act as a bond proxy, right? And have different attributes. Doesn't mean bonds are the devil. It just means forty percent of your portfolio in bonds when you need to take out four or five percent of your portfolio value, and bonds are paying you two percent. You're guaranteed to run out of money on that portion of the of the, of the portfolio.